Hi, my name is Mikolai Niski, and this is my luxurious 2000 Chevrolet Geo. And I'm gonna take you guys on a little bit of a tour. Why don't we start off with the tires? These little bad boys, believe it or not, are actually winter tires. Also, you see this beautiful lining of rust on this side, and there's the same kind of thing on the other side. Also, if you zoom, zoom in right here, there's a nice dent and a scratch. That's from a recent accident where my mom actually reversed into this car. Now, if we move on right here to the bumper, nice and cracked from a recent accident. Also, the light, you can almost pull it out. The sign, of course, is gone. The mirror right here, I actually put on myself. If you zoom in right here, there's a magnificent tape job because if it wasn't for the tape, this thing would definitely fall off. Now, right here, there's a lever. You pull the lever, you think, oh, the trunk's gonna open. And you come back here, not the case. The trunk does not open. To solve this problem, what I do is I have to go in the inside, lift the seat, and put everything in the back this way. As you can see, this part of the car is just as nice as the other part. Now, why don't we move on to the inside? My personal favorite. The car has over 208,000 clicks on it, so it's been quite, it's been through quite a lot. You might wonder why I have two pillows. The reason is because there's a massive crater where the seat used to be, and I need the pillows so I can see over the wheel. Also, little vent. I don't know why this car has vents because no hot air comes through them anyway so I freeze all winter and this car is magnificent because it freezes on the outside and on the inside so when they scrape the car I actually have to scrape the inside of the windshield so we got a little vent here that's dangling so that does me no good you just come inside I want to see the rest of the car and its beauty if you look at the top here you can see that the top is more like a tent nice little gap there that was done myself there because it was dangling in the wind so yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, how could I forget? This car has absolutely no power steering and has the, me the most intimidating horn you'll ever hear. Brace yourself. That's the sound I make when I drive. So as you can see, I put my life in danger every time I get in this car. I have a girlfriend and I have to drive her around and embarrass her. And I'm a student at Western so I could really, really use the money. So if you could help me out, I would love that.